Hi, welcome to the very first fisheries management video. So you're going to get used to these videos over the course of the term. And um, since we're starting fisheries management, we have to figure out uh, what a fishery is. All right, in this um, video, we're going to be defining what a fishery is, what a stock is, and what fisheries management is, having a definition of fisheries management to set you up for the whole course. So if we're, if we're going to manage a fishery, we need to know what a fishery is. And so let's start with a definition. It can be defined as human harvest of wild marine resources for food or industry. So a fishery, if seals are out there eating butterfish or uh, lantern fish or whatever they're eating, then that's not a fishery. That's just uh, nature doing its thing. It has to have humans and it has to be wild marine resources and um, for food or industry. So generally there's a use for that. We don't just go out and catch fish to dump it in the, in the ocean or dump it on, the, on land for no port. So it's not just fish. There's also crustaceans like shrimp, mollusks, and we'll get to know what a crustacean and mollusks are uh, in marine invertebrates. There's a mollusk, this squid, there's a crustacean, this uh, crayfish. Some of you might have caught both of those in your day. Um, whales, whaling is a wild marine resource. Um, turtles, there are still places in the world where lots of turtles are caught in the eggs and algae okay so any wild marine resource it doesn't just have to be fish to be a fishery and we think of things like these big boats doing industrial practice but and then leading to um, scenes like this in the Tokyo fish market where these tuna have come from all over the world to be auctioned off uh, but it also includes things like um, somebody gathering for uh, a feed, okay? And um, this artisanal fisheries, which uh, most of the fishers in the world are just um, earning a very little bit, a subsistence amount, and they're going out in small boats very close to the coast. It could be things like these um, uh, recreational fisheries. We've got to include recreation when we're talking about fisheries management because uh, these things have an impact and um, they also generate a lot of uh, economic activity like charter boats and the like and here's another one this is uh, from the states this is a sturgeon they it's catch and release it's still a fishery because some of these things will will uh, there'll be some mortality this is a possibly hundred year old fish that's uh, nearly a thousand pounds and they catch these on rivers in the in um, British Columbia in the northeast of the United States, uh, the big sturgeon. So uh, all these guys get together and they'll catch and release it. So, but that's a recreational fishery. And here we've got a fishery. These guys are harvesting um, uh, algae and uh, they're going to be using it to make possibly those nori sheets that you eat when you're eating um, uh, sushi, your sushi rolls. And uh, so this is a fishery as well because it's a wild marine resource with the first definition here, stock. The question is, what is a stock? Uh, we'll talk about this more in class. But here's your definition. A population of harvestable interbreeding individuals, usually the same species. And if we go, let's fly these fish in. We've got a snapper on each of these pictures. Okay, we've got some down at the Hawks Bay, some here in Bay of Plenty in Northland and West Coast. So they're all the same species, they're all snapper. Um, so, but are they, they're harvestable. Let's just say that they're big enough to be caught and um, legally kept. Are they interbreeding though? Are they an interbreeding population? are these ones here interbreeding? Are these ones to, um, close enough that they can, they can mate up, meet up to mate? 
How about this, this one, and this one? Well, in fact, these two here don't go around the the tip of the North Cape very often, and so they're really not interacting very much or interbreeding very much. A little bit. There's a little bit of migration across the top, but for the most part, um, let's make this a little bit different color so it's a little um, more obvious. Whoops. So these ones breed together. All the West Coast fish breed together. And then the ones down here, Hawks Bay, breed together. So we have separate stocks. And if we don't want to overfish this one here and underfish this one here, then we need to manage them separately because uh, even though they're the same species, they're not an interbreeding population. So this one will replenish itself through breeding at, and uh, new fish coming into the, um, into the population, new offspring, at a different rate than this one. Um, and so we have to target them differently and manage them as separate stocks. And this one's a different stock as well. Okay, so what is sustainable? All right, in class we'll brainstorm this a little bit, but sustainable, so here's a trawl, picture of a trawl um, net that has come up and they've dumped their catch on board. And in there we can see that we've got a large fish amongst all these other species. It's mostly, a, a, they're fishing for hokey. You'll see some hake and um, other species within there, but this is a broad bill. All right, so it's a little bit of an indiscriminate catch here. We've got a broad bill. Sometimes you might have seals, other um, other animals like birds within there. And if the fishery is going to be sustainable, it has to have minimal long-term effects on the environment. Okay. It may be sustainable if one of these is only caught every once in a great while, but we need to have um, minimal long-term effects on the environment. Otherwise, in the end, we're going to be shooting ourselves in the foot. Okay, so here are some effects that you might find from fisheries that are unintended. Here's a whale that's been uh, caught itself up into a fishing net. These divers are trying to cut it away. Here are fish being thrown back from a shrimp trawler. These are the dead ones that are not going to be used because they're really interesting. Uh, in fisheries, generally, okay, you're going to catch other than the target species. And whether that is sustainable or not is a question for fisheries managers. So the next question, part of the definition, is how do you control fishing? And that's what we're going to spend most of the rest of the class uh, thinking about, learning about, reading about, and writing about. Okay, very good. That's the end of the first video. You've got your definitions on what a stock is, what sustainable is, and what fisheries management is, and what a fishery is. So if you can know those four things, you've taken what you need to from this video. Very good.